I'm Vanessa Antonelli from Nestle Baby, and I'm here at the 2014 ABC Kids Expo in Las Vegas, Nevada for Celebrity Baby Scoop. And I ran into the lovely Jen Brown, host of American Ninja Warrior and the NFL Network. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Jen is 24 weeks pregnant. That is right. I'm 24 weeks. This is my first child. I'm here at the ABC show. Um, this is my third day here. And um, it's like a kid in a candy store. Like, I'm walking around, and I was telling you earlier, like, every single thing I see here, I'm like, should I have this? I need this. Oh, should I have that? And I've got, I've got I'm here with my best friend, and she's great. She's a mom blogger, Kimmy, and she's helping me <laughs> navigate this entire huge convention center. It's awesome. Have you seen anything that you're just like, I, I know I need that. I have to have it the second the baby is born or like right now? Um, yeah, I mean, oh gosh, the thing that's been for me, uh, I know I need a stroller. I know I need a car seat, you know, and I, and we've gone and we've kind of made appointments and gone to all these different booths to learn. I don't know how to navigate it all though. Still like, I mean, um, God, it's so hard to like even pick because every every one sounds so amazing. You, know? you you're gonna have to you're gonna have to test them out. You're gonna have to test them out, take them on the test track, yeah. go for a run. That's a what they're saying. They're like, you know, we'll like can we can send them and you can try them and you can see if you like it and then you can you know and and that's so so for me, um, just getting here and being hands on was really great of just like feeling like the jogging strollers and seeing the difference and having four wheels versus three wheels and you know with the rear facing or the bare, bare, I know it's just so much to think about. So I've got a couple months. I think to still navigate. You do. You have plenty of time. Um, what do you think is um, the, mo the most important thing for you to put on your baby registry? Um, gosh. Oh, well, um, for the baby registry, okay, so I travel a lot with work. And so for me, that's been a real big focus since I've been here is um, really trying to navigate what kind of options there are for travel because, um, you know, I'm on the road with either Ninja Warrior, with NFL Network, and so, and I'm planning on continuing to work and trying to figure out how to balance that with being a mom and working. So for me, I've been really focusing on, um, you know, great strollers that can also be car seats that can you know pack up very easily because if I'm by myself and you know um, you know bassinets that can you know be just things that can be mobile do everything items exactly. that are easy to travel exactly. and there's a lot of products here at the show that are like that so yeah. I think you'll be really it's been great, and the thing that I think I've learned um, the most is how everything needs to be easy. You know what I mean? It's like you need to have the car seat that's easy to put in. You need to have the stroller that it's like the one click, and it and it comes right up. It's not like the pushing and the kicking, and then you're holding, and someone's mm -hmm. doing that. And so that's the one thing um, that I was educated a lot about being here. So um, yeah, that, I think those are the items like the the, the mobile things are going to be the stuff that's going to be really like must haves on my registry. Have you started the baby's nursery yet? We have not. So okay, this is a funny story because um, it was just me and my husband and in our place um, I had a bedroom that um, most women will love this I converted into a closet like I literally went to like Home Depot and found like the <laughs> it's a plug for Martha Stewart because it's great Martha Stewart's a closet line and I actually designed it and and we built it and so I had you know for my work clothes and my shoes and my bags and my boots and everything well um, now baby needs a room and he can't sleep in my, my uh, awesome closet so we've taken all of that down and are just now getting into the phase of like picking out colors and figuring out how we want to do the nursery and the, I was sitting in gliders earlier by the way with these shows as you know you walk around a ton yep. <laughs> and I was telling you Kimmy I'm like just pick me up I'm gonna sit here for like two hours in the I, <laughs> I have actually gone and taken a like a rest in the chairs <laughs> and gotten a drink of water and kind of laid have back you been in the sleep it's over amazing <laughs> I've gotten that earlier uh -huh. the Nuna, they make an adult leap I know in it and I was like, we're oh. ordering one for one of our stores just so <laughs> parents can try it out yeah. and like experience it firsthand it and then you know something that popped in my head because you're asking to things that have stood out to me here at the show um, another thing that I've been really making a point of doing is going around and seeing um, products and brands that are in the sports theme because obviously that's my world and so a lot of the people that follow me on social media and, and um, that, that I interact with quite frequently are sports fans and so I love going around and seeing all the different like stroller covers and the football blanket wraps and so I'm trying to go kind of go around and collect information I'm gonna blog about it and kind of you know maybe do some YouTube stuff with uh, with my friend and Kimmy and uh, so you're, yeah. you're having a sports baby basically <laughs> pretty much yeah whether boy or girl <laughs> exactly. it's a sports baby well, yeah, I played seven sports in high school and mm -hmm. softball in college so um, you know whether it's a boy or a girl I think that um, it doesn't I would, matter what it is I, I, I don't know what I'll do with a girly girl I had to learn how I always joke I'm like I had to learn how to do my makeup by watching like 15 year olds on YouTube because I was like the girl with like jeans and ponytail and no makeup because that's all I wore in college 
because I played sports. And, so and it turned out pretty good, right? It so. works. But I hope that I have a girl that doesn't want me to do that because I'm like braiding. I'm like I don't know. I'm not sure how to do this. I'm gonna have to watch a YouTube video. Yep. <laughs> have you been reading any like parenting books, or you're just more of a go with the flow kind of person? Um, I have two books that I'm. Um, so my actually my OB actually wrote a book, um, and it, it had it's the 411. It's the baby book, um, and that's been really helpful in just terms of understanding. Um, you know everything to expect and then there's one um, we can't cuss on this right because the book is called um, sh asterisk asterisk uh -huh. ty mom um, because I'm hosting a baby show yeah. event yeah, <laughs> you guys can figure that out right <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's sh mom and um, and it's hilarious and so I'm hosting an event with the girls mm -hmm. who wrote this I guess they're two NBC producers cool. and it's about and I, I mean it's not that I'm necessarily learning things but it's basically like how to make sure that you don't feel like that you are that yeah. kind of a mom because yes sometimes you're kid needs the iPad when they're having a temper tantrum, temper tantrum in the restaurant and throwing like soy sauce bottles across the room when you're trying to have sushi with your friends. So you're and more of the, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm just trying to research to figure keep it all out. Keep them alive, keep them safe, keep and them really healthy. No judgment, you know what yeah. I mean? Like there are times I think, you know, you see and people are like, oh, and they're like, why is that kid on the airplane? Or why is that parent bring the child to like sushi? And it's like, you can't judge. Like, and especially like, I know I'm gonna be in the thick of it. So I'm definitely not. I'm, I will be the first to tell you that that when you become a parent, it, like any judgment goes out the window. You feel for every mom. You feel <laughs> compassion for every crying child. You're like this poor mom. I already felt that on the airplane as I've been traveling, and I'm like, that's gonna be me. I'm gonna be. My friend did give me good advice that whenever he gets on the plane with his um, now three-year-old, but it, earlier on, he would hand out head um, earplugs to everybody around him, and was like, here's just a preemptive, like, I'm sorry. Yeah. Here's some earphones. Buy, I'll buy you a drink. I'll buy a glass of wine. <laughs> so true. Um, so I'm taking that advice too. Good. Good. <laughs> Well, congratulations. Thank you. And the best of luck to you. Oh, I'm excited. And we're going to have to get Great together you. again so you can show me the nursery I when know. you're done with I, it. I need nursery advice from you. <laughs> Sounds good. All, All right. right. Thanks. Thanks so much. Bye. I'm Vanessa Antonelli from Nestle Baby for Celebrity Baby Scoop.